number two undefeated South Florida. The BCS standings came out this weekend right after Mighty Ohio. Brand new phenomenon a year ago, a big primetime game. Now these folks say they're getting used to it. Justin Tichy to kick off, and he'll boot it out of the end zone. So Rutgers will start on their 20-yard line. Quarterback. No throw. Teal all over the middle. Fires high and caught by Kenny Britt near midfield. Nate Allen defending a 21-yard eight. Rutgers has been better in these situations this year. Teal fires. Incomplete. He was looking for Kenny Britt, and it was very well covered by the few hand punting. We'll try to pin the Bulls deep. It's a fake. He's throwing downfield complete. Caught for a first down inside the 15 by James Townsend. How do you do, Coach Ciano? Yep. Rice not in the backfield. Lovelace is going to throw. Pressure. And sacked at the eight yard line. So tuck field goal. Eight for eight inside 40 yards this season. And he's still perfect. Over the middle. Caught. Again, a short gain, and that's Marcus Edwards. Only four catches on the year coming in, so they're using. Williams is the back on third and two, and he gets it. Hit immediately. Brandon Rankert, the linebacker, stops him from the overtime with a clutch kick. He's been pretty solid since that Auburn game. And he's very solid there. So each team, this down in distance, he's trying to get it inside to Brett, and was jammed off by Tyler Roberts. The Nick second possession for the Bulls. Once again, Ben Williams is the setback. They take it to him. First run of the night for Grothy and a nice crease. Grothy inside the 45 before the reach to the right. Williams has a crease. Ben Williams into the secondary, spinning inside the 35. Grothy looks left, flushed out, now fires a low pass. Jesse Hester Jr. And this is dad, the famous. And you see trips left. That's often a running formation for the Bulls. This time, Grothy wants to pass. Pressure. He'll take off. Grothy showing the quickness. Mike Grothy diving for the end zone. It wasn't like watching Pat White fly down the field. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it's a different kind of... And Teal fires over the middle complete. It's underwood for a first down inside the 30. He beat Carlton Williams for just at the top of the break. Squeeze it in there. So maybe he's gaining in confidence. This is Rice. Turns the corner. Rice lowers the shoulder pads and gets about eight as he ran over the corner, Ryan Gilliam. Rice hammers ahead. Again, heavy contact, and Rice shoves the pile as flags fly all over the place. He's down to the five to play every official on the field. But it was either that or he's going to wind up in the end zone. First and goal. It's Rice the long setback. Teal will throw. Touchdown. Rifling at the Tycon Underwood. Ito, perfect this season on PATs. It's 29 for 29. 10-10. Underwood does a great. That's both teams combined. Grothy keeps it and has a crease. Grothy, center sets into the secondary. Drags a man to the 43. Grothy, the ball carrier. Jason. Ball over and anything, so you're a nervous wreck. He's been in high school coaching. He knows the game well. Grothy fires over the middle, incomplete. Trying to get it to Amari Jackson for his first catch of the night, but didn't take the right angle. Alvarado to punt. High kick. This time he does a better job of not booting it in the end zone. It's fumbled. Picked up by the Bulls. And now they'll blow it. A whistle. Eric Setzer. He's the long snapper who was down there. He's got possession. 
The first mistake of the night by the Scarlet Knights. Murphy looks, fires on the swing. It's caught by Jesse Hester Jr. into the end zone. Just like his dad used to do. 28 yards. And Alvarado makes it a seven point lead once again for USF. So Grothy still sharp. They convert on the muff punt. Here's the touchdown. And there's what drew the flag from the Big East official. That's a little bit uh, strict, isn't it? They like that. Yeah. No, no problem with it. Tichi to kick off from the 15. And coming up to field it is James Townsend. Townsend. Still alive across the 40, so that flag result. Right now you're thinking about field goal range. You don't get the first down, however, the clock will not stop. Teal fires downfield. Puck. Sliding out of bounds is Tim Brown. And now they're well within Edo's field goal range. Low, of course, was blocked. Gets this one away. Quiet night so far for Rutgers. Deal. High catch by Underwood. First down. Underwood off and running. Ty Quad Underwood to the house. 69 yards. Ito. Make it a three point game. And said that's the difference in this Rutgers offense. This. Othi on third down. He has to just throw it away. And Rutgers defense a lot more stout in the third quarter. They allowed Grothy outside. They're going to keep a spy on him every play. Tim Brown back to receive Alvarado's punt. Once again dropped and recovered by USF. A flag is down. Did they get too close to Brown, the returner? The flag came out very quickly. I didn't think so. Was no there a signal yet? Where's the spy in this one here? Somebody in the middle of that field. Pressure up the middle, incomplete. They brought the blitz. Glenn Lee, the safety from 37. What? And Rutgers tried to knock the ball forward. It didn't work for the Bulls. Didn't work here. <laughs> Not on that one. Okay, yeah. we'll give you one. We'll give you one. Here's one. <laughs> Rice hammers straight ahead. He didn't look tired. Rice again. Running through arm tackles. Ray Rice takes off. Tight end Brock is in the slot, top of the formation. Teal takes a look there, now fires for the end zone. And it's out of the end zone. That ball about four yards out of the reach. Tim Brown. Average wise, he's going to get it. <laughs> Ito from 32 for a six point lead. It's a fake. And it's caught by a touchdown. <laughs> Tonight, a huge completion. Yeah, Ito, the punter, with a big 36 yard completion in the first half. Now you got DePaulo, the holder, in the field goal with a touchdown. And all of a sudden, number two down by double digits late third quarter. And Rutgers House is rocking. Brophy a throw and a catch by Carlton Mitchell who breaks free and gets into Rutgers territory. Second and seven. Brophy flushed up the middle. Plenty of room. First down. Good downfield blocked as Brophy skips out inside the 25. A minute ago, but now it's third and 16. Pressure again. Fire over the middle. Tried to squeeze it in there to Bogan. Courtney blocked the last one. 
They came off the edge quickly again. This time he gets it away and makes it. Well, the misadventures continue. Townsend picks it up on the bounce, has some room around the corner. Townsend breaking the tackle. And the special teams plays kick. Hold on. It's been a problem area for this team. They begin the fourth quarter with a third and six. On third down, they flip it short. It was behind Tim Brown. What? For a 10 point lead. It's a low kick. Good. Williams replacing Ford as the back to Grothy's right. He blocks the blitz and Grothy fires downfield. It's caught. Jesse Hester Jr. taking a hit, but. Moves it to the 48 for a 16-yard game. Got time to stand there, survey the field, and make a good throw. Green, the starting safety, is back in the ball game as Williams weaves his way into the secondary. Now back away. Here comes the blitz. He gets it away. Caught. About an eight-yard gain for Amari Jack. Both he fakes it, throws over the middle, caught. And running free, still running free. Down inside the five-yard line is Cedric Hill, the tight end, and now he gets into the stat page. His first, he pulls first and goal. Now Williams for and Taylor all in the game. It's Ford cutting back for a touchdown. Mike Ford, the freshman. So that is an impressive drop. Now Alvarado draws. Physical run. Did the ball come loose? There's a pile. Did the football come loose? The Bulls say they have it. How does number four Mike Jenkins think he knows? <laughs> That so for the football. The third and 15. Wobbly pass tipped by two Rutgers defenders incomplete. With four on the play clock. It's Rice. Rice hammers ahead. Both he fires over the middle. Incomplete. Not an interception. You got half the season left to play. Pandemonium and Pascataway, the sequel. Here come the students from all corners. We saw it last year. And they beat Louisville. Tonight, perhaps a little bit more of a spoiler's role, but it does lessen the sweetness. Leverage team gave it a shot, but guys, too many mistakes for USF. Absolutely. For a number two team in the country to have the mistakes on special teams, the conversions against their special teams, a blocked field goal, just couldn't get it done. But it came. Cinderella in the national championship game, it appears. Rutgers does it again last year at Louisville. Tonight, South Florida, 30 to 27. They're getting used to the big game experience here in Piscataway. For Craig, Doug, and Aaron, I'm Chris Fowler. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, tune in to ESPN News. Sports Center up next right now on ESPN.